You know, as a scientist, I think you're the primary word you use is why. When you become an inventor, you start thinking, what if? The why started with, why are some people doing well and others not? What's going on here? Disease looks the same, but this person did very well and this one didn't. What if we were to study patients? and learn from each individual, the one that did well and the one that didn't, and compare them. Even as a kid, loved playing with toys that I could take apart. My folks tell me my favorite question was why. When I went to college, I uh, announced to my parents I was gonna major in philosophy, which I did. But when your father is a child of the Depression and put his way through school using the GI Bill, his first question is, uh, oh, what are you going to do, sit on a hill and think? <laughs> so he suggested, why don't I also major in something like chemistry, which I wound up really finding that those two actually mixed quite well. Frankly, when I was in medical school, uh, I felt that there was a real challenge in developing therapies for cancer, and so I gravitated toward that, and I said, this is what I want to do. Dr. Dalton, I've known him for a long time, and he's had an incredible career, uh, not only in research, uh, but also in what he did in developing personalized medicine. Moffitt began thinking of personalized medicine over a decade ago and came up with this concept of total cancer care, which is a partnership primarily with patients, asking them if we can follow them throughout their lifetime to learn. And this requires that patients consent to donate their history as well as tissue for us to study, and uh, it's working. And now we're sharing it. Uh, what began at Moffitt is now at 14 different cancer centers throughout the United States. But that really did catch the eye of Vice President Biden with his initiative of the cancer moonshot, because they see the value and the potential because of the enormity of the data that's being generated by this group. And that's really what's become innovative. It's not just the ability to collect it, to store it, to annotate it, um, but also to start utilizing it. He saw the vision and the potential in the future, saw it through. Now we are today what we had envisioned. We'll have a, the biggest database and the biggest cancer repository in the world. Dr. Dalton is an inventor whose best invention might be to build great places for creative people to invent a better future for cancer research and treatment. He has had a career where he has achieved every milestone he's put in front of him whether it be becoming CEO of Moffitt or creating total cancer care. And I think these are all things that just demonstrate what his goal-oriented character allow him to achieve. Bill seems to savor life and all its challenges. And this makes him quite admirable in my book. Well, hopefully, uh, the word cancer will be uh, something in the history books. You always have a desire of creating something that might be of benefit, that might help society. And you can imagine how gratifying it is that something you may have been a, a part of can actually help a patient. It's one of the most great feelings in the, in the world.